Usually, according to my methodology, I don't uh, recommend to take paracetamol unless if it is really necessary. It will be worse for the smoker. For the heavy smoker, it will be worse because his respiratory system is already damaged. My personal opinion is, if you really think you like to get the vaccine or you want to get the vaccine, yes, you can go ahead. But I have to give a special advice for people who already got COVID. Wait until you totally get yourself healed. Today, we are going to have such a valuable discussion which is called as COVID-19 virus. All we know about the current situation of our country. Therefore, you will know how important and relatable this topic is. To discuss about it, we invited Dr. Tharindu Fernando for our Voice of COC YouTube channel. Warmly welcome you, Doctor. Thank you. We all know how dangerous this is virus. Therefore, if somebody gets infected, how long does it take for appear COVID-19 symptoms? Yeah. To answer that question, actually, the problem is for some individuals, they don't get symptoms at all. Now, this is the importance of uh, knowing about this factor. There are various kinds of symptoms like uh, fever, sore throat, then uh, dry cough, and headaches and all. But if the symptoms appear, of course, they take like four to five days to appear. But for most of the individuals, they do not get any symptoms and they can spread the virus. Now, that is the important thing we should know. Uh, when we come to medicine, is it safe to take paracetamol before receiving the COVID-19 vaccine? Yeah, actually paracetamol is a painkiller. Uh, usually, according to my methodology, I don't uh, recommend to take paracetamol unless if it is really necessary. Now, before the symptoms appear, you should not take paracetamol. Now, the problem in Sri Lanka and most uh, countries which are being developed, uh, paracetamol and other painkillers are easily available. You can take it over the counter. But as you see, in most of the developed countries, it is not like that. It's so difficult to take a paracetamol or even antibiotics in that matter. So, if you don't have any symptoms, I do not recommend to take paracetamol, right? But in case you have high fever or severe body aches and all, yes, at that time you can go ahead and take some paracetamol. But always you should ask your physician, your family doctor, whether to take it or not and the dosage. You have to be very uh, careful about the dosage. Now, usually the standard dosage is like 250 milligrams paracetamol but in sri lanka most of the people they take like 500 milligrams some people take more than that also without any prescription so this is not good okay. according to our country statistics there are around 23 percent habitual smokers are smokers more likely to develop severe symptoms for COVID-19? Mm, yeah, now COVID-19 will affect your respiratory system, right? And so does smoking. So a normal person, if he gets COVID-19, of course it can affect the lungs, affect the respiratory system, but it will be worse for the smoker. For the heavy smoker it will be worse because his respiratory system is already damaged by usual smoking. So of course the answer is yes, it can damage the lungs and the respiratory system more uh, than a usual normal person, a non-smoker. Uh, the most critical side of this virus is 
It can survive for a long time of period in different surfaces. So doctor, how long does the virus that caused COVID-19 last on the surfaces? Okay, now that, of course, uh, still the studies are being going on. We can say that up to 48 hours. In most of the surfaces, the virus can survive up to 48 hours until it gets a proper host. Uh, but said that, you do not have to be so much scared of right, the thing because if you remember what you touch and if you don't uh, usually touch your face, the nose and the eyes always and if you regularly keep on uh, washing your hands after going out and coming back home, then you don't have to be worried about it. But to answer your question, the virus can last for maybe 48 hours or maybe more on a surface. Uh, which climate is uh, COVID-19 mostly spread? Uh, hot climate or humid climate? Okay, now uh, COVID-19 as we say now, my method of practice is Sujok. Now in Sujok we say COVID-19 is a coldness disease. So it is more prone to spread in uh, countries where coldness is there, where it is cold. But it doesn't mean that it won't spread in hot countries as well. But severity, always it will be more in the cold climates. So many myths are existing among the society about this COVID-19 virus. Um, are the COVID-19 vaccines safe and effective? Yes, that's a very difficult question to answer because now there are various doctors who oppose uh, taking the vaccine and there are a lot of doctors who uh, tell that go ahead and get the vaccine. But my personal opinion is if you really think you like to get the vaccine or you want to get the vaccine, yes, you can go ahead. But I have to give a special advice for people who already got COVID. Wait until you totally get yourself healed. Maybe for like 45 days after you being positive for COVID to get your vaccine. Or some people get the uh, virus or the uh, disease after the first dose of vaccine. So if you get COVID after the first dose, then again you have to wait for at least 45 days to get the second vaccine. If you think that you don't have to get the vaccine, right? Okay, nobody will uh, force you to get the vaccine because it's your right uh, to get the vaccine or not. So doctor, what is your idea about this COVID-19 vaccine? The vaccine? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm not a vaccine specialist, but a lot of uh, specialists, they say that there's no harm taking the vaccine. But there are some specialists, again, vaccine specialists, they say uh, the vaccines are not yet being uh, fully developed. So it's always better to wait a little and see whether uh, like for another maybe about a year or two until the vaccine is fully developed, then if you want, go and take it. My personal idea is like, okay, COVID, if you get COVID, like only a 2% chance is there for the virus or for the person to get like uh, severely uh, affected by COVID. Most of the cases, in most of the cases, they don't even get symptoms and they will get mild symptoms. Hospitalization is also not much necessary for the majority of uh, COVID-19 cases. So in that point and among the other things, among the other studies which we have done, uh, I would say that I don't think that it is mandatory to take the vaccine. If you feel like, okay, it's your choice, you want to get the vaccine, yes, you can go ahead and take it. I don't tell anyone not to take the vaccine. And at the same time, I don't tell anyone to take the vaccine either. So it's your choice. You can uh, do your own research and you can go ahead and talk to your doctors, your family doctor, right, your general physicians and get their idea as well. So, uh, but for children actually, uh, regarding uh, children's vaccination, 
about this particular vaccine, the COVID vaccine, I saw a lot of uh, specialists, they came on TV, they appeared on TV and said that uh, it's always better to wait a little and see uh, until uh, further, I mean, studies are done and then until they develop a better kind of vaccine uh, before you vaccinate your children. So I take that because I did some of my personal studies as well about the researchers and about the progression of the vaccines. So still all the vaccines are under experimental stages. So personally, I will, <laughs> if you ask me whether I took the vaccine or not, no, I did not. But I won't say anyone to uh, avoid the vaccination or I won't say anyone to get the vaccination either. Okay. So we came to the end of our today's discussion. We hope that you will get to know how to be survive and to be aware from this global pandemic. Therefore, I take this opportunity to thank you Dr. Kanida Fernando for spending his valuable time with us. Thank you very much, Doctor. You're welcome. Okay. To see such valuable videos, do not forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and follow our Voice of COC Facebook and Instagram pages. Until we meet from another valuable video, stay safe and happy. Thank you.